wobble. I just want you to stay patient and block, okay? Go, go. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Good job, okay? Right here. Right here. Right here. Pop all the way in. Do that two times. Get up high. Let me get you high. Get high. Get high. Hey, I don't want my toes to fall, baby. Get that cone up. Stop right there. Go. 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 Talk about bringing indoor football to the district, how important it is. Um, well, one, I mean, D.C. is a huge football market. Fans here are fanatical about football. D.C. is for too long not had an indoor football team. Uh, we're looking forward to bringing a team, playing in the armory, and reinvigorating, uh, working with other organizations to reinvigorate football in the district and in the D.C. area in general all together. Why will hey, indoor line, football okay, work in a place line. that's so dominated by burgundy and gold? Well, I mean, I believe that people love football, right? I mean, you know, it's not as if people only watch the Redskins, you know, even though the Redskins is the outdoor football team here. I mean, you know, indoor football has worked in a number of places that have, you know, uh, NFL teams already. Baltimore, Philadelphia, Chicago. A number of cities have, you know, large fan bases for outdoor football. And we believe that this is another city that has a large fan base for outdoor football and a huge interest in indoor football. And we can tap into that. Can you talk about the interest level that you've already seen in the community and judging by out here, do you think that projects to something big? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we had over 140 guys come out today, um, which we think is just a great showing for a team that, you know, you know, we didn't do a lot of uh, advertising or what have you, didn't, didn't really say a lot about the fact that the trials were, were, were on the 29th, and we're just happy that, you know, uh, all these people came out. We've had a lot of interest hitting our website at www.dcarmor.com. And uh, we, we, we're taking a lot of calls of people that are just interested in working with the team, uh, working with the dance team, working with, you know, helping us with, you know, writing the songs and things like that for, for, for the DC Armor. And it just interest has been coming from everywhere. All right, last question. If you got anything that you would um, like to say in terms of exciting the community, why they should come out and check you out, what would it be? We have a lot of really close rivals. Uh, Baltimore, uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg. All of them are looking forward to coming down here. We're looking forward to giving, the, giving our fans a very competitive on-the-field product, and we're looking forward to beating a lot, of, a lot of our very close rivals, Charlotte being one of them. And, you know, we think fans are going to have a great time. There are a lot of uh, um, um, opportunities for kids to come out and have a great time both inside the game and outside um, and, and really get involved. Now, Mr. Morris, what, what um, position are you trying out for? Uh, outside linebacker. How's the trial gone today? Um, you know, uh, let me tell you when it's all done. <laughs> See if they offer me a contract. <laughs> Talk about uh, away from the field, how significant it is for D.C. to be getting a um, professional indoor football franchise. Oh, it's really exciting. It's a great thing. I mean, uh, football is a fantastic sport, uh, huge fan base, and D.C. is a good sports town, but we don't have an indoor football league, so it's about time we've got one. And uh, I'm excited about it as a resident, long-time resident of the district, but I'm doubly excited because I'm hoping to be a part of it. What do you think it brings to our newfound sports landscape with all the other stuff that's jumped off the last couple years? It just gives another another whole avenue for people, uh, people, fans who want you know one more activity to do, kids who are interested in football and may not be able to afford going to a uh, uh, to an NFL game, may be able to come see an indoor football game. Uh, but the other thing is that it's just good for the city. It brings uh, excitement. It brings in you know additional revenue. So uh, you know, in, in a time like this where uh, you know the economy has slowed, you know one more avenue of uh, bringing in taxes and revenue and getting people excited about going out and spending money is a good thing.
And if you don't make outside linebacker, uh, what are your plans to be involved with the team? Well, I'll be a spectator either way. I'll probably go and bring my family, and we'll, we'll enjoy watching it. Um, but, uh, but I think I'm going to be on the team, so i got to think positive. <laughs>